Yeah, two years after. Two years, yeah, yeah. after two years, and then we decided, okay. Actually, no. No, less, one half. Less, yeah, one and a yeah, half years, because you got pregnant in December 2014. And immediately, I'm And like we, were, we were in, where, what was the place called again? In North Sumatra? No, uh, North Sumatra. Manado. Sumatra. Manado, yeah, we went to Manado. Hi there, welcome to my channel. Meet ordinary people with extraordinary stories. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, press the subscribe button as well. Enjoy! Hi guys, yang pasti lanjutan dari Q&A kemarin, kita bikin Q&A part 2, yaitu tentang di mana masa kehamilan dan cerita kita punya anak. Gua hamil end of 2014, right? In December. Itu. Uh, and then we know when we was holiday in Manado, ya? Yeah? We were on holiday on in Manado. On holiday in Manado. We expecting? Sort of, not really. <laughs> it, was, it was surprising in that moment because I wasn't really thinking about it. It's not thinking about that fast, right? Mm. We're not thinking about that fast, right? Because you were occupied with like Christmas and you uh. were still drinking and smoking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, and then? We bought the pregnancy test in a apotek. Apotek. And then uh. ada dua strip. And then we don't know this is the dua strip is pregnant or not, right? Yeah, we we, we not understand, we're not quite sure. Yeah, I did uh. understand. I can read the package. Yeah, but uh, the one is not really... Yeah, so there was, it was not really conclusive. It was, it was not conclusive. Yeah. Inconclusive. <laughs> and then next day we bought another one. And then it was very conclusive. So, and then we come back in Indonesia, uh, in Bandung. Then we're doing in uh, Boromius first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I started kind of like uh, consulting Dr. Google to figure out what is best for you. Mm. Uh, I told you to stop smoking. I, uh, <laughs> it's now <laughs> not in video. <laughs> and I figured out what to what is like best for your diet, you know, in terms of like what you need, because you suddenly have to take care of yourself and someone else inside of you. And very quickly that became very obvious. You started eating more, right? Yeah. You know, your intake like went up quite a bit very fast. And then I just continued. Getting drunk every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was proud. I mean, I must say I was uh, like excited that you were pregnant. I was excited. Yeah. We, we're planning it, but we not expect it that fast, right? And yeah, it was in like, the end, we're just happy. It was actually on the first try, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. The I'm funny pregnant. thing, well, you you uh, you started changing your eating behavior. You started mm. eating chocolate. Yeah. Uh, perlu kalian tahu, gua tuh nggak suka coklat, nggak suka coklat, nggak suka es krim, ya. Yeah? Mm. And then pas uh, when I was pregnant, I eating coklat a lot <laughs> and es krim. Yeah. And the funny thing, I nyidam croissant. Roti, croissant? Mm, croissant. Oh, croissant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to. Yeah. But we went to Sheraton Hotel. I have to from <laughs> the croissant roti. I have to from Sheraton. <laughs> yeah, you only wanted to buy that one from Sheraton yeah. Hotel. Or not only that one, nothing else. Nothing else. Mm, yeah, it was weird and expensive, but okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, apalagi. And we fight a lot. <laughs> we fight a lot. Yeah, you you started hating me, but I thought, okay, this is just your your female hormones going crazy. Uh, inside an already crazy woman plus crazy, like super, <laughs> super crazy, and then yeah, then uh, I mean everything kind of like was developing along our expectations. Uh, banyak perubahan dalam tubuh gua, tiba-tiba gua jadi gede gitu, terus sudah gitu semuanya membengkak gitu kan. Terus melihat pasangan kita yang baik-baik saja pastinya bikin kita emosional. Terus and you quite relax and often going to Singapore and party. Oh, yeah. So in the moment I like 
my in the same time my hormone is like double so we i i i hit him well i didn't go to singapore for partying we had a startup and i had a lot of meetings yeah but so. when you come back to bandung you have a lot of <laughs> yeah of course wanted to celebrate that you're pregnant nine <laughs> <laughs> okay No, not aneh aneh ya, nyidam ya. Not aneh. Really, not really like you started mm. eating. I mean, chocolate, yeah, that was the only aneh thing. Yeah. But I think because of Sansa inside of you, which is of course fifty percent me, and I love chocolate, so I guess her desire for kind of endorphin-inducing food triggered you to eat it. Mm. That's what I. Uh, but that's just my theory. Pokoknya so. kalau waktu gua hamil, gua bener-bener makan coklat banyak banget, es krim banyak banget, amis, um, almost every day ya, uh, yeah. like hampir setiap hari dan itu tidak pernah terjadi dalam hidup gua. Dan sampai sekarang pun baik lagi, gua nggak hamil yang gua nggak nggak suka coklat. It was on September. So the official expectancy date was September 10 or 11, right? And then yeah. suddenly you feel like okay, it's it's getting there, and that was September second. And then we were not sure whether to check in in the hospital on September second, but then we decided to just leave it and go there next morning. But you somehow knew that on the next day it will happen. You, you kind of felt it, right? It was kind of like in the air. No, it's no? like uh, end of Augustus. I go to Melinda. Okay. And then when I check up with uh, Nana and then the 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 doctor say Oh, it started opening. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, this is already pembukaan satu. And then, okay. and then I come back, I said to Ali like, "Hey, already opening one, but I not feel anything." And then we just relax, not doing anything. We went to the restaurant somewhere. Yeah. And then and then I said, "Okay, I want to born normal, not cesar." So, mm. we just wait until kontraksi. And then the second day, second day, still it's not nothing happened. The third day, we go to another doctor to make sure this doctor is not lying. And then the the other doctor say, "Hey, this is already third opening, right?" Mm. And, and then it's like, "Huh? I'm not feel anything." And then we decide which hospital we have to born. Maybe we starting kind of. Uh, Pasrah, pasrah buat operasi sesar atau apa karena udah pembukaan tiga dan gue nggak berasa apa-apa sampai end the end in Tuesday Kamis ya Tuesday mm-hmm. and then in the morning I decide okay whatever happen sesar or normal this day have to out because it's like in Wednesday the doctor say already opening three right so in the morning we go to the uh, hospital and then we decide the Melinda right. And then in the morning I walking little bit and go to the hospital and then jam 12 when we daftar and then born normal. Yeah, it was mm. it was actually a very straightforward process. Mm. We checked in like 10 or 11 in the morning mm. and then exactly 12 o'clock like on the minute. I still mm. remember on the minute 12 mm. o'clock your water broke and then and then you had your contr- contractions mm-hmm. until two o'clock two and then o'clock. Sansa started coming out. Yeah. It's like 2.30 or 2.45. Yeah. So only two and a half hours, very yeah. quick. So when Sansa was born, um, yeah, I mean, there was pr- like pride or something like uh, the feeling of accomplishment or the feeling of having achieved or having kind of like mastered the challenge that's how i felt even though i didn't do the work you did the work so i kind of like was um happy that it all went out that it all came out fine you know so mm. that's i was it, it was being happy basically maybe tell the story when i was like uh, screaming when i heard <laughs> what i said to you i don't remember when i like oh Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was so. What do you mean during the birth? In the process, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you called me Banji. <laughs> no, not Banji. You called me what? Banji. Banji. <laughs> yeah, because I was like so sad to see you suffering when you had your your contractions, mm-hmm. and uh, I was um, I felt like I was empathetical, you know, because I thought, wow, she's going through so much pain. And I can't do anything about it other than just standing there and watching watching it happening. <laughs> gua enggak ingat proses itu, cuman susternya masih Ali ceritain pas gua lagi kontraksi itu gua kesakitan 
Kayak gue ngeliat Ali tuh sedih banget mukanya, so sad ya. Hmm. And then like, uh, like this. Terus gue cuman mukul dia, gue bilang, be tough, not like banci. <laughs> Yeah, but that was during the birth, right? Yeah. I mean, the question now is about no, how, just how, tell a story like this. How, felt, how did I feel after being a daddy? That's the question. That was yeah, but netizen want to know. Yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> Why did we pick the name Sansa? Because it's a Indian name, which means um, uh, charming, charming and blessing. Yeah, charming and blessing. Yeah. But the inspiration from ding 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 ding. Yeah, well, the, Game of Thrones. <laughs> you you took the name of Game of Thrones. I knew the name before actually. It's it is a Sanskrit name, which mm -hmm. I thought is kind of suitable for us because you live in Indonesia, I live in Germany, and India is kind of in the middle. The name is not about is the about character, but the name is cute, right? Mm. When we see Sansa, you yeah, know, yeah. and then after that we check the meaning. It's from Hindi, Sanskrit, Sanskrit. Sanskrit. <laughs> and then the the meaning is charming and blessing, which is she is, right? Yeah, she is. And then Veronica is from my your oma, yeah. My grandma, yeah. Hmm. character be mm. more well we started being more responsible i guess yeah yeah so because now we have someone to take care of who's like very vulnerable very fragile and uh, we had to kind of be mama and papa instead of girlfriend and boyfriend with a ring <laughs> <laughs> no yeah we have uh I mean, we started going to Muay Thai together, right? First yoga, after that Muay Thai, Muay Thai and then yoga, yeah. and then after that I have uh, now I have my running community. Ali doing gym, so mm. yeah, I still, yeah, that's the thing. Kind of Sansa triggered me to start doing the gym thing because mm. I just I just turned into a dead bot, just fat and weak and not really <laughs> like in good shape. And then uh, one day, me and Florian, my friend, we decided to hit the gym pick up the iron and just uh, get into shape, yeah, which was a good decision. Already though, said? You know, a little bit, a <laughs> little bit, a little bit uh, comfort, comfort fat around it. But, Same here. Yeah, uh. hard to avoid when you get older. Yeah, but we try to doing almost sport, yeah, almost, yeah. almost uh, every week. Yeah, we did sport, we, we did it quite hard. I mean, when we did gym and Muay Thai, I did it for a while. Two I years. Do, I do Muay Thai before, mm. but uh, no. You, you you dropped out. I kept yeah. doing. You you actually dragged me into Muay Thai. Into Muay Thai. And yeah. then I stayed there, and you got out, and I continued, and then I even had a few fights. And. Uh, but I, I cannot see people fight. That's why I yeah. drop from Muay Thai. You were scared, time. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said, okay, running is more mm. uh, okay for me. Uh, not me. <laughs> not me. Or help us. <laughs> and the restaurants we go to. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I do, I do this spaghetti sometimes. Yeah, but I cook more nice spaghetti. Yeah, not well. Mm. <laughs> only spaghetti. <laughs> I can only cook spaghetti. Yeah, that was. That's it. We we not hobby cooking. And chili con carne. And I make salad. <laughs> and the salad. Yeah. So these are the three things. We're not doing romantic cooking together. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, m many time mostly Ali uh, file in cook. <laughs> fail? I never fail. Come on. When? Uh, when did I fail cooking? I mean, it's not really good, but it, those things that go I cook. song and make cook with a uh, cake with Sansa in the end. Go song and everything. <laughs> German is street, nice, clean. Okay, yeah. I mean... In and Indonesia is nice. Mm. Okay, so you want me to list the pros and cons of Germany? Yeah, or? German and Indonesia. I mean, what is your impression of Germany? Yeah, nice to be holiday in there, but not for living. I prefer living in Indonesia. <laughs> Why? What is wrong with Germany? Uh, too old. To move. Oh, what you are too old? Yeah. Or the people there are too old? No, me, me. Oh, okay. Too old to move. So for your your brain is already yeah already Indonesia already with too like much a lot of too much corruption yeah. in the <laughs> <laughs> inside your brain, so you cannot deal with the German mindset. Yeah, yeah well, fair enough. Uh, and then my perspective on Indonesia is, 
uh, yeah, it changed, right? When I came here, I was a little bit shocked, culture shock. I was impressed. I was like, uh, um, different culture, good weather, nice climate. Uh, the happy, weather is nice, yeah, the different, people. of course, weather. Yeah. Even though when it was raining, like I remember 2010, 10 years ago, I was here and it was just raining the whole year. It was just every day raining until 11 o'clock at night mm. or 12. Just every but day. But still can wearing this kind of shirt. And still right? can run around in a t-shirt and short trousers. I really like that aspect. Every in time Germany I came, cannot. Every time I came back to Bandung, it was like really, really nice. And then driving around a motorbike at night and it was still t-shirt temperature. I loved it. It was really nice. Mm. Yeah. In Germany? No, you can't do that. You can do that. No. And in winter it's just depressing. And the winter is short and depressing. Yeah. Well, I can only speak for myself. I know a lot of bullies who don't love Indonesia as well. Really? Uh, yeah. I mean, people, some bullies cannot deal with the culture here, right? Because the culture mm -hmm. is very different. Uh, but I'm a kind of flexible guy. I'm a, I don't really, you know me, I don't give a shit. <laughs> so I just, I do sometimes get angry about... Every day? Every, <laughs> not every day, I sometimes. Complaining. I get angry about like stupid little things, but then it's a developing country, so... What do I expect, right? Uh, but then on the other hand, when I'm in Germany, there's like, everything is perfect. You don't need to worry, everything's clean. It's like really safe. It's like everything is there, right? Yeah. Well, it changed. I mean, I, I used to like the... Tahu, Tempe? <laughs> no, the apa, the uh, rendang, what is it again? The rendang, nasi rendang. padang stuff, nasi padang. I like really Rendang, like. rendang, the rendang, beef, right? Yeah. Mm. And then uh, over time, I really liked eating the chicken with a good sauce and good sambal and uh, tempeh tau, yeah, mm. like uh, not too... For, for bule, Ali is not what, what is it you just made downstairs? Uh, S uh, soto. soto, yeah, soto. I like soto. Mm. For bule, Ali is not really difficult to eat, ya. Dia benar-benar doyan banget pedas, makan sambal. Yang pasti yang dia nggak makan ikan-ikanan, ikan goreng, ikan laut, ikan bakar kayak gitu dia nggak. Terus sama terasi, sama ikan asin. Yang lain ya, lu suguin ap Ali apapun, semuanya hampir dimakan. Nah, sekarang the last six month or five month you being vegetarian ya. Yeah, nah, itu lebih gampang lagi ngasih makan dia tahu, tempe, sayuran, that's it. Food is Food. now meat free for me. And I feel a difference. This year is very short. <laughs> 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 This year, gua ketemu dia baru kemarin setelah enam bulan kita benar-benar oh, pisah ya. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, being healthy. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we we, we hopefully. I mean, We oh yeah, no, there's a target, uh, not what? getting corona. <laughs> You're That's being healthy, what I said. <laughs> Staying healthy. That's the target for once. I mean, uh, uh, the, being healthy, which, which is our target this year, uh, keep, keep healthy, uh, keep healthy. Staying healthy. Staying healthy. Yeah. And most of target in the business we achieve, right, this year. Mm. And next year, we maybe we make a new target again. For the business, for family, a bit. Uh, Sansa school bit distraction, but it is Bahasa is quite good. Yeah, for Sansa, uh, I mean, for her, she will go, mm. she will start school next year. Yeah. Many people in my YouTube asking, how about your business, Rere? Is no, you answer. <laughs> how about your business? Uh, how about our business? Our business, but our business will be part three, right? <laughs> okay, then see you next time. <laughs>